Hi there, Siberia from Cats and Cards, and today I'm going to do a collective pull for Scorpio. Scorpio, let's see what's coming in on your energy today. Scorpio, I'm also hearing Libra. But this is about Venusian energy, and this is going to be scary good. Let's see what's coming in, and then we'll get some filth. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Sign, and North Node. If you find that my readings are resonating with you, please like, share, and follow. Okay, Scorpio, we have the Knight of Cups here. It comes out in the upright. So I feel like you're rescuing someone or you're getting some type of offer. The Ace of Swords here came out in reverse. So somebody is not wanting to see the truth in this situation or they're doubting something. I feel like that you have the answers, the formula. I see an infinity sign here. Something is forever. Um, the higher front shows up in reverse. I feel like this is an ascension process for some. Five, five, five. The higher front is about school. It's about church. It's about um, institutions. So I feel like you're either prospecting in something new, and you're not believing in yourself. You're 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 taking more logic on than dreaming. And um, for others of you, I feel like you are giving an offer. And somebody's not believing it. Okay, answers. This is um, an etheric type of reading as well. It tr uh, trust the change. There's inspiration here. You could have an M in your name. You could have an F in your name. I'm also hearing you could have an A in your name. Awa's horse. I feel like somebody could be seeing horses, but there's progress. There's 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 change here. You might not see it. Um, also, I feel like you're getting communication, understanding. You're going to be the inspiration to someone that has a lack mindset. Nafiz is here. You could have an X in your name, or this is about an X. There's conflict here. You're going to have the endurance. Self-reliance comes out as well as willpower. What is this? You got the beginning, the, the new beginning here. You could be dealing with an Aries, you could be dealing with a Sagittarius, but Aries energy is about action, and Sagittarius energy is about balance and patience. So maybe you need to have patience with a Sagittarius, patience with a new beginning. You're starting back at zero here. Um, amethyst could be a stone that you need to work with at this time, Scorpio. Your power color could be yellow. They call it mellow yellow is what I'm hearing. The sun and the moon's here. So that's counterparts. What is the love messages for Scorpio here? If you want to further connect with me, please message catsandcards at yahoo.com for a personal. There's no more messages in this deck, Scorpio. So let's get the filth out real quick. We've got fishing for comments. So you could be dealing with a woman here that wants to, a little praise, wants a little comment, wants a little love or affection from you. For others of you, I feel like this is somebody coming in and trying you. They trying it. It could be an Aquarius. It could be someone that appears to be a humanitarian, but you already know what's up. There's a wand here. So they're also very magical, or you could be hearing from this person in a day, and they are absolutely tripping on you. They're trying to figure out a way to come back. Scorpio, you could like mushrooms. You could like tripping or going to festivals, but, um, I feel like you are an all accepting person here and you're really fun. It looks like you could have Aquarius placements, but um, heavy water energy here. Somebody's very emotional and they're tripping and they're getting ready to use um, threatening, intimidation or scare tactics on you. That's so cheap and cheesy. I'm hearing cheap and cheesy cheap and cheesy like you roll your eyes whenever this person comes around it's a woman too she may have blonde or curly hair light brown hair rejection this person you rejected i feel like this person is a groupie um they might like snoop dogg or listen to snoop dogg or try like i don't know try to fit in in places where they don't rejected here somebody also could be getting a rejection letter on something curious about you in reverse an impersonator so i feel like somebody's watching you from the internet or and it's a woman and they want to, somebody wants to be with you or wants to fuck something up that you have that's scary good it's also petty as well petty and cheesy creeping again what did i tell you i feel like there's people watching you somebody could have green or brown eyes queen queen rising here so somebody could have dealings with a darker skinned woman or this is your energy you are um even if you're a masculine here okay so i'm getting two stories for the masculines there is a woman creeping around in your shit trying to like i don't even know what this is it could be somebody that you dated in the past it could be somebody that's now seeing like where they fucked up 
uh, they want to mess up your creativity or they just want to come in here and be a groupie and be all about you or give you what you want for a short time right now. What else? What are the love messages for Scorpio here? Family time. So you're going to be having fun with some family and friends and I can see you by the water. I can see somebody taking like a boat trip or a bike ride or um, vacationing somewhere. And even if you don't leave, you're going to be having a good time. What else? You already know. See, some of you already know what the, is up. You already know the T. Intuitively, I don't think Scorpio really needs cards. You've got Lunar Eclipse here. These cards are spilling all kinds of tea. So you're going to be getting communication. Um, for All right, for my men, there's a lot of women looking at you right now, not saying anything. They could be trying to reach out to you from the Internet. You could be getting subliminal thoughts or message. Black Moon Lilith, somebody is dealing with like a type of loneliness, and it's a sexual loneliness as well. Black Moon Lilith is about rebellion. She didn't want to lay under Adam. It could be an affair. It could be just sexuality and standing in your truth right now. Um, for others of you, I feel like you're lonely. There's going to be a lot of people reaching out right now. This is kind of shocking, but not shocking. I feel like Scorpios know that they're very good looking, but more or less, this is unveiling. This is dis dissolution. This is cycles. This is endings and beginnings. What do you need to get rid of? What do you need to keep? What do you need to throw out, Scorpio? You could be seeing three, three, three. I'm hearing good things come in threes. Even bad things come in fours what I'm hearing. So whatever you're getting into, make sure that you are ready to suffer, stand in the consequences. But this is good news. I just think there's a lot of people trying to reach out for you now that you're getting offers and you're going higher. Um, I'm hearing that song, um, Can You Take Me Higher? But I'm also hearing that song, I don't know what you heard about me, but I'm a motherfucking P-I-M-P. So somebody is like a, a, a P-I-M-P right now. You have healed yourself. And you're showing up as a nurturing energy. You are exploring all options of life, dear Scorpio. You've got the crow moon here. I feel like somebody... Um, is uh, watching the movie Crow, or that's one of their favorite movies. I'm hearing ganja, like somebody smokes a lot of you know what. I feel like somebody astral projects. Somebody could be having weird dreams right now at this time. If you're having dreams, explore those dreams. Seven to a six. I feel like things have been erratic, been all over the place, anxiety. Somebody could be having money problems. You're considering the pros and cons in a situation. Somebody wants to t stand up and take leadership of something. I'm hearing um, wheat straws because I see a wheat straw here. If, <clears throat> but that, I don't know why I'm hearing that. Something's unpredictable. You can't decide, but it's a 50-50 toss. If you took a chance on something, it's still a 50-50 toss. Like you must have this self-reliance. That's Virgo energy, heavy Virgo energy. Somebody's coming up. Like, I'm hearing that song, I'm all the way up. Two sides to every story as well. There's a butterfly effect here. And when I say butterfly effect, I mean that there is like a reawakening and you're going through something to fix it. Does that make sense? You could be seeing two, two, two. Twos are about right place, right time. Nines are about letting go. What's coming in for future messages? Future energy for Scorpio. Future energy. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius, another Scorpio. Seven days. Within, within a few days, the situation or event will develop. I see this person here doing yoga, and they're trying to reset. Clarity, the color of yellow here, Scorpio. Um, this is a color that is important right now that's showing up. So I feel like something's coming in. You're already going to know, and you're going to be able to fix it. It's time to take action is in reverse. Somebody's not taking action on something. Divine timing is here. I feel like you're sitting back and you're looking. You're not opening up about something as well. I don't feel like you're talking a lot, Scorpio. One, one, one. You could be seeing 11, 11, but this is about your home life. Pearl. You could have given someone pearls and they were a swine is what I'm hearing. I'm sorry. And that, 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 for the cross watcher here on Scorpio, like... Your plan ain't going to work. I'm sorry. Stinky, but I'm sorry. But I love you. I'll do a reading for you, whoever you are. King of Cups, more Scorpio energy. Somebody cries a lot. Four of Swords here. 
Three of Cups in reverse. So this could have been a cheating situation or a third party situation, but the Four of Swords is need for rest and recovery. I feel like somebody's going to be partying hard on their birthday as well. Do not overindulge because I see somebody very sick here. Like they're praying to the toilet that they shouldn't drink all this. The Empress card shows up in the King of Pentacles. I feel like you want to treat somebody as well, Scorpio. I feel like you have Empress and King energy. There's a lot of Kings here. So this is a lot of, um, okay, so hold on. First off, there's two kings here. So this could be a um, two masculines that are together, a, a same-sex relationship. But this could also be two men, a woman between two men, okay? Or this is empress energy and somebody is really got it all. Like you have the nurturing, you have the empress energy where you have it all. And you have the king of pentacles where uh, um, you're successful, you're rising up. There's tomatoes here. Tomatoes are the color of courage, red. There's also the seven of swords here in reverse. You could have Aquarius placements or be dealing with an Aquarius. But when I see the seven of swords in reverse, the lying, cheating, and stealing is over with. So whatever plan somebody has for you, it's going to be definitely foiled it could be with a child a page of pinnacles capricorn shows up so there's a child that misses someone out there but this is page of pinnacles is always a shanty offer to me a scanty um scandalous type of thing that goes on the page of pinnacles is something very small and meager i'm trying i'm being led to other cards here because i'm trying to dig deeper for you scorpio okay scorpio we've got the panther card and fire ants so let me get you the answers on that and then we will close out your reading Ah, I found it. Panther, annihilation of the unnecessary, purging. Look at those green eyes. The panther won't stand to see our growth or energy stagnate. Instead, it pounces into our lives and causes all kinds of havoc with the ultimate intention of bringing us toward more fulfilling lives. It's unexpected, uncomfortable, and sometimes feels devastating. But after all, the dust clears. It's easy to see the panther's wisdom at work. We've all been through these experiences, and they've met us made us better people. Trust that the panther's journey always leads to a brighter place. When in balance, you're brave. You're productive. When you're out of balance, you're self-destructive. To bring into balance, get rid of the unnecessary. That brings us to fire ants. Again, we saw those green eyes. Aggression, rigid thinking, following orders. Fire ant energy flares up without us noticing. It's the force that attracts us to people and situations that feed our imbalances rather than those that counter them. Gossiping and blaming are a few indicators that misaligned fire ant energy is at play. You may also find yourself stewing on a person or situation, only making things worse. How can you break free from the drama and cool down? Fire ants are surprisingly sensitive. Don't pretend the heat isn't getting to you. When in balance, you're thoughtful and disciplined. When out of balance, you argue, excess heat, and you gossip. To bring into balance, you need solo time and walks at night, dear Scorpio. So that is what I have for you to cool this fire ant energy and panther energy down what do you do take walks at night cool down stay away from people and as well as that you bring yourself into balance with this night energy by staying disciplined and getting rid of the unnecessary if you're finding that my readings are resonating with you please like share and follow thank you